what's going on guys friday a massive day for us in the live stream we were breaking records we had stuff going on with the market a overall great week last week friday blowing it up today it's saturday let's look back at some of the things that happened yesterday to talk about kind of the ideas and some of the things that you should be looking for when you are day trading futures especially with the es and what i'm looking for with my strategy and all of that fun stuff <laughs> You guys know the setup we got the macd we got the emas the eight the 21 and the 51 there on the chart out of the open we had the perfect little kind of patrick wheel and breakout setup here what we were looking for is the break over the pre-market high here at the 69 through this area here at the 70s i talked about getting this move up over the 70 level here we get the breakout right there we got the 80 made the 21 and the 51 all stacked up beautifully we got the macd crossing we got that lined up we're above the vwap there everything is lined up perfectly and we get this move up to the 90s that was where the pivot was on the es and that was exactly where the market went to so from the 70s up to the 90s that purse pivot area there and then we get the pullback and we see where this keeps going so what's interesting is we were actually live talking about this when it was happening we saw this move back up we had the macd kind of lagging this move back up but as we get this push back up what we were really focused on was what we wanted to see the 8 ema above the blue ema we wanted to see the blue ema above the 51 the red so then we have yellow blue and red there and once we get that going we can see better opportunities but the problem is we kind of missed out maybe a little breakout here but i'd rather more consolidation we did kind of break over the candle highs here but in general the better play here would have been waiting for a little bit better of a pullback into these emas and kind of we had this resistance right there so a little tricky area here you have the 90s resistance you got the 80s right here so you're kind of watching wait 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 we're waiting and you could have probably entered here in this pullback obviously you know in hindsight now but the more Patrick Whelan type of setup right here would have been through this kind of breakout from the 80s pushing back up right there. And then you get the yellow line, they all crossing beautiful again. And then the, the rip to the upside up there to the 110s. We see the end of day move, really a beautiful move here as well. Why did this fail the way that it did? So we had the high right there, high of day. We then got denied. We couldn't push through there. And there's that break to the downside. Another Patrick Whelan type of setup here with the EMAs crossing. You got the MACD that actually crossed bearish on this move down. So this little pushback up here would have been that perfect kind of channel to get short here for this breakdown. Really, I would have been, even if I was just waiting for that break below 100, I think right here would have been a overall good entry. We talked about the three minute chart, the EMAs, and what we're looking for when we're entering some of those breakout trades. You know, we want the MACD, are we above the VWAP? We want all these things kind of lining up. Sometimes you can bend the rules, the, obviously. You can enter a trade when the MACD maybe isn't bullish yet, but what you need to remember is when everything's not lined up, when every single indicator isn't perfect, well then you might have less of a chance for the trade to work out in terms of getting that breakout to the upside or getting the break to the downside. So what you really, at the end of the day, if you want that A++ setup, the best trade is gonna be when everything is lining up. All of the indicators are perfectly lined up. If you enter a trade when the indicators aren't perfectly lined up, well then you're reducing your overall accuracy, but still sometimes it does work. And sometimes we see things with the book map, we've seen moves in the market, overall momentum. We can end up jumping in early into a trade, trying to get a better deal. But a lot of times I would say probably in the longer run of the trading experience, this might actually work against you. So I really also need to focus myself on making sure that I'm only entering when the trade is very valid in a very good setup. Let's talk about the 15 minute chart and how interesting the 15 minute chart was on Friday. All right, so we're pulling up the 15 minute chart here. Simple, we got the pivots on there. We've got the eight EMA, that yellow line. We've got the VWAP, the white line. What is interesting about this chart on Friday is look at the VWAP, right? At open, we get below the VWAP. We're like, uh oh, we're having trouble. We pushed up there for a minute. We pulled back, and then it's like, okay, okay. Look at what happens here. We get below the VWAP. We're kind of battling there. We had some support from the kind of overnight there at the 60s. But once we got back above that VWAP, it was bull, baby. Bull, bull, bull. And that 80 EMA, what I have been looking at with this 15 minute chart, maybe you guys want to look at this as well when you're trading, is look at how well 
this 15 minute chart really kind of obeys that ADMA on that upward movement like that. So kind of just watching these 15 minute candles, they're just ding, 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 pushing up higher. We had the pivot point push up here to that 40 to that 4,090 area twice there that played as resistance. Once we push through this pivot point here, guess what? We tap that next pivot. We love those pivots. They always, I'm going to say they always work out that way, but they are great to have. And you can see how those pivots played out in the VWAP at the end of the day, acting as support. The VWAP, if you don't have it on your chart, guys, I've seen so many times where the market just kind of loves to use that VWAP as a magnet for price to the downside and to the upside. So, you know, we have the breakout here. We start moving higher. We're above the VWAP. What I like to always focus on, if I'm going to be long, are we above the VWAP? Am I going to be short? Are we below the VWAP? And that VWAP really at the end of the day is the trend, right? If we're above the VWAP, we're pushing higher, we're pushing higher. Well, that's the trend. Like we're, we're going. So like we understand that when the VWAP is here below the price, it's bullish. When it's below the price, it's bearish. Now, does that mean that we can't pull back from the 86s down here to the 78s? No, totally. You know, it can happen. We can pull back. We can test the VWAP. But what I want to do is mainly focus on the idea of looking for these breakouts to the upside and following the momentum and the trend in the market here. And I do like the 15 minute chart to kind of really get a, a nicer understanding of what the trend's doing and also seeing like, you know, here when we open up, we pulled back to the sixties, we finally support, we're having the wicks on the bottom of those candles, you know, are the wicks on the bottom of these candles, like this little reversal candle right here, we push back up, we have a wick on the bottom, we get the breakout to the upside. And I'm really trying to be a little bit more and more aware of what the 15 minute chart is telling me and what it's doing when I am in a trade. So if I'm, if I'm in a trade, you know, on the three minute chart, I'm looking at the 15 minute chart, like are we breaking out on the 15 minute chart? Are we running into resistance? What is the 15 minute chart telling me when I'm in these trades? There it is, some ideas that you could be thinking about and what I'm looking at on the charts, my timeframes, my EMAs, and all that fun stuff. If you guys haven't already tuned in, 9.15 a.m. We are live Monday through Friday. I will see you guys right here on YouTube. Peace to the Middle East.